hey, I wonder, you know what? I know PolitiFact checks mostly political statements, politicians and such, but has PolitiFact ever checked Fox for false statements? I'm hearing they have. <laughs> Here's one now. Fox said, less than 10% of Obama's cabinet appointees have worked in the private sector. PolitiFact says that's false. Fox said, White House political director once served as right-hand man to the acorn chief. PolitiFact scored that as false. Texas Board of Education may eliminate references to Christmas in the Constitution from textbooks. Boy, that sounds scary. PolitiFact says false. <laughs> healthcare reform is a government takeover of healthcare. I remember that one. <laughs> that one was all over, Fox. They were running wild on that one. PolitiFact says not only is it false, this is exciting. That was the PolitiFact 2010 lie of the year. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. By the way, the correction for that one was issued, uh, oh, when monkeys flew out of Vidal Sassoon's ass. <laughs> That's random. Uh, where were we? Ah, yes, the statement the Muslim Brotherhood has openly stated they want to declare war on Israel, false. American troops have never been under the formal control of another nation. Wow, that sounds bad, false. Florida Republican Governor Rick Scott's approval ratings are all up. False. <laughs> Wow, it's getting crowded. Can we try another uh, play? Uh, Massachusetts healthcare plan is wildly unpopular among state residents. They said that was false. There's been more debt under Obama than all other presidents combined. False. Healthcare bill includes death panels. Oh, that one was PolitiFact's 2009 lie of the year. Wow. Fox News is, is like a lying dynasty. They're like the New England Patriots of lying. Without the Patriots part, because I think we all know Patriots cannot tell a lie. Wow, I'm getting tired. I think I'm going to have to have a snack here. A little trail mix. Protein and fruit. It gives me the energy burst to climb Mount Fib. Cash for clunkers will give government complete access to your home computer. False. Halting gulf drilling costs $8 million a day in imports. That one got a pants on fire rating. <laughs> kind of like the filet mignon of bull <laughs> Democrats plan largest tax increase in history. False. Eric Holder was involved in the dismissal of criminal charges against New Black Panthers. False. Obama voted in the U.S. Senate quite often present. <clears throat> White House Science Advisor John Holdren proposed forced abortions and putting sterilants in drinking water. <laughs> Pants on fire! <laughs> Labor Union President Andy Stern is the most frequent visitor at the White House. <laughs> America is the only country with automatic citizenship of both birth. False. O'Reilly never called George Tiller a baby killer, only reported with others that called him false. Only Fox News picked up that he had done now one of his favorite flaws was false. Nobody at Fox News ever said you're going to jail if you don't buy health insurance. That's pants on fire. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, they got a lot of f correcting to do.